Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, welcome to day, I think it's 13, it might be 14. We don't, I'm not sure. Well, no, I don't, we don't know, and we'll change it if need be. Hope your Friday is going well. I've said Saturday <laughs> all day long. Every day is a Saturday when you work every day, right? Um, so, quick and painless. Uh, this is quarantine coping, showing you something different or fun and exciting. And we are not in a prison, even though it looks like a prison behind <laughs> us. That's our old, old building. Is Lisa's teeth white enough, really? <laughs> Okay. I don't have a PhD, but I do have ADHD. Yes. Um, chicken. Oh, there it was. No, there is a chicken. Okay. So, I haven't been inside at all today, and I haven't watched the news, except for apparently now we're supposed to wear a mask everywhere we go. So, know. we're not really going anywhere. So, we're not really going anywhere. Mostly. We are having one person do the shopping and that not being us. So, trying to do. We got more than enough to do here without going yeah. anywhere. We don't need to leave. We got. Unless we break something and then sometimes we have to go somewhere to fix it. But. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Um, so, uh, the title of this quarantine coping is. Can't remember what I put. Soil and garden. So. I uh, thought I would show you guys um, what Lisa planted back in October, I think, um, some um, garlic. It was actually like late December, early oh, January. Oh, well, who likes garlic? Give me some thumbs up or some hearts. Um, and then I'll show you our garden. And as you watch this progression, you're not going to believe it. It's, I don't believe it. And <laughs> I'm doing it. So I'll turn this over. Hey, Tana, I think she's 13 <sighs> days in a row or however many we're doing. I'm going to turn this over to her and then I'll go to the garden. So this is just one of our big planter boxes. We actually brought this from the house that we moved from. Ron and our son Tony built it probably about five years ago now. Yeah, look how beautiful it, it is. We didn't want to give it up when we moved, so we brought it here with us. Um, and this has garlic planted in it, which if you look, you can see is already coming up. Garlic coming up. So garlic you plant typically sometime after uh, Halloween. Halloween. And then it sits all winter long and is starts coming up in the spring and then is usually ready to harvest around the 4th of July. We, like I said, didn't get this planted until, I can't remember, it was either really late December, I think the week after Christmas, maybe early January. But um, <laughs> We don't know when it was planted. <laughs> but as you can see, it's coming up. We're going to have... We've got three rows in this box, so it's uh, and then I've got a whole nother box over in our kitchen garden, also full of garlic. So we are super excited. Here's one. Karan, hello. We did garlic last year and it did fairly well, um, but we ran out before we wanted to, so I did more this year. I think I did twice as much this year. And if you're in our CSA, oh, Rhonda said, uh, getting ready to plant my veggies. I see. You'll what? We can't give this garlic to our CSA members. Um, yeah, so we have a CSA. We, I think we only have like seven spaces left. And basically, you get to see us every week. Um, sorry if that's a downside to it. Um, and you get to take home a box of veggies and produce and Lisa's recipes every single week the entire growing season. And you know where it comes from. <clears throat> and you know what is not in it. Um, hey, I accidentally hit this today, so got to fix that. I hit it with a tractor. That I've been on those all day, both of those. So anyway, that's what garlic looks like when you grow it, and when you pull it up. Well, we'll probably video that, but this one's doing really well. And what's crazy is these will get up to like this tall. And if you take the leaves and just cut them and chew them up, it tastes exactly like garlic. A lot of people take these. Um, They'll have a little kind of pod thingy that comes yeah. out. It kind of looks like a tulip before it blooms, but smaller. And they're called scapes. And you can scapes. eat those as well. Yeah, so. so. Later on when they get a little taller, we'll be able to see those. So here's what uh, I've been doing all day. 
This is the locale of our garden. Next year, we're going to extend it probably out to there. And uh, we've been tilling, removing some rocks, clearly not all. We got fresh compost. And, well, I guess there's no such thing as fresh compost. But, but look, how, look how soft and delicious this dirt is. We haven't even watered it. So we use well water to water the garden. We use uh, certified organic seeds. And we don't put fertilizer. We don't put nutrients. We don't put weed killer. We don't put anything. Well, we... Yeah, we don't use anything with chemicals. So that's what I've been doing. Now, this is pretty cool because this is the view of my office today. Lisa was burning. So we have a pretty good view today. That was my office today. Rhoda tilled it uh, probably, what, three times now? And then we're going to lay our plastic when we get our new tractor on Monday. And we can show you that. That is a really cool process. Last year, this is about where we had our tomatoes. We had all of our squash and everything over there. Kale, broccoli, literally we had tomatoes from there to the end. Did we have 19 varieties? Nine, Nine varieties, 39 plants? 36. 36. 36 plants. I don't get my numbers right clearly. Um, so, I'm starting the war, on weeds we're on weeds. Yeah, Trandon, you come over here and go swimming, bro. He says, don't go swimming. <laughs> so Rhonda signed up. Oh, and this is this is what we're going to have to... We got to clip all, all of their wings and keep them in the front pasture because we don't want any of this when we have our food growing. And this entire thing will yield so much food. So um, not really a sales pitch, but if you want the best tasting veggies... Um, organic as you can get. We're not certified organic because there's just a bunch of paperwork and crap, but we're about as certified as you can get. We'll call it farm organic. What did you say over here? Oh yeah, we do some crazy varieties. Like, what are some of the ones? Yeah, you can't you can't usually buy those. So, um, and then what? Yeah, maybe. So it's not just the basics. I mean, you get that, but we offer just so much more. So, um, you get a box every week. Usually, even it actually goes past October in most instances. So, um, you will not go hungry. Three hundred and fifty bucks. For veggies every single week. Um, posted that price in air, but I'll honor it because that's ridiculously low. And plus, you get to come out and spend time with us, and we get to see you. And uh, Lisa's throwing stuff at the chicken. <laughs> All right, mom. Anything else that you want to say before we sign off? A little shorter this time tonight. I don't think so. We learned a lot last year, so <laughs> we're doing a few things a little bit different this year. Yeah. Make things a little easier and to keep on top of stuff. So. Stuff. Yes, Rhonda, you are officially in. Your spot is secured. Um, I'll send you a link so you can do the down payment or you can pay in full. Either way. Um, That's all I know. That's all you know? At the moment. Let's see. Do you know any good jokes or anything? No. <laughs> um, I'm terrible at jokes. So I was out there in the field earlier. So I was outstanding in my field. So bad. That's so bad. 
I don't, I don't know. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful um, Friday. Friday. I always <laughs> say Saturday. I'll go film just about 30 seconds of the creek and because it's so awesome. Should I stand right there? So you guys got to see where our garden and our food's going to be um, grown. Yes, Tana, very peaceful. Um, if you want to come play in the dirt and help us, feel, feel free. Come on out. Um, we'll keep the 10 feet social distancing rule in effect. Um, we have plenty of room here, so that's not a problem. If you just want to get out, get your hands in the soil. Um, it's very therapeutic, very relaxing. And uh, you're more than welcome to come out. We'll just have to keep our distance. So... Um, I just really appreciate all of you guys tuning in, um, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening, and uh, we, we are praying for everybody in our family and friends that uh, this epidemic virus thing can be uh, taken care of so we can get back to normal, and uh, tell somebody that you really appreciate them if you haven't in a while. And I appreciate all of you for tuning in. And uh, I hope you have a restful evening and God bless.